Where are you taking me? I thought we were going to get breakfast. <laughs> Will we wake Daddy? No, I think we should let him sleep. Are you using Mummy's face roller? Is that nice? Mm. Wow. Do you want yum, yum, yum? I'm going to get you and I'm going to get you. Yeah, that's a very nice foot. I've seen it about 10 million times. Just used my CeraVe hydrating cleanser. Absolutely incredible stuff, but uh, I really have to shout these out. These things saved my skin. On the lead up to our wedding round two celebration, which I really did attempt to vlog, but it was just not happening. I needed to try and be present. Also, toddlers make everything a lot more difficult. We did hire an amazing videographer, so you will get to see some of that. But yeah, I don't know if they're called ASAP or ASAP, but this one is liquid platinum with glycolic acid, refine and hydrate. It's a treatment you use a couple times a week and it gets rid of all dead skin cells and stuff. And this one I've been using twice a day. It's their B Super Complex with niacinamide for radiance and clarity. It's for collagen boosting and it has some hyaluronic acid in there as well. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go and have some breakfast. My dad's about to go to work and I can just hear him in here playing. Um, how does it feel going back to work after a long weekend? It's a lot of parks, that's what it is. <laughs> it's a little free. Once upon a time, my sister Jessie was obsessed with this. I still remember her being a toddler and watching this all the time. And um, I showed it to my son recently. He's obsessed. He especially loves this, the tubby toast that they eat. I've made him his own piece of tubby toast. It's just toast with um, almond butter. And then I cut out the eyes and the mint with out of my banana. So I always try and give him what I'm eating. It just makes him a bit more likely to eat it. Do, 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 do. Do My husband is off work and is on toddler teeth brushing duties, which is not easy. So I am gonna do the quickest, easiest mommy makeup ever. This is just like my favorite makeup product. It's the Second Skin Dewy Finish Foundation. Absolutely gorgeous. You just feel like you're not wearing anything. Then I'm gonna use lipstick for my blush as well. This is a nice kind of like muted pink by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called In Love With Olivia. Then we'll do the hair and I've been using this curling wand from Boots. It's by Babyliss. It was about 40 quid and the amount of messages and comments I've had about my hair when I use this is absolutely mad. Like it's so good. Here we have a toddler has joined me playing yeah. all my bottles. Me. <laughs> Long time no vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the floor, by the way, of the room that will become my office. I still don't really have a place that I do my makeup, but we're gonna give you loads of house updates now in a minute. Daddy! Daddy. 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 What's on my face? <laughs> that is Mammy's palette. It's just real easy and quick to just use one product for two functions. <laughs> For the last five minutes, our child has been using Melanie as a climbing frame and now he's singing us a song. So I was still hungry and I made more toast and then my son needed to go sleep so this is like ice cold. Ice cold heel of toast. <laughs> Delicious. But yeah, I'm still just like breastfeeding him to sleep on our bed, on the floor bed and it's just so straightforward and easy and the thoughts of changing it. Yeah, he's comfy and therefore we are comfy. <laughs> and that's what matters. You look really hot. Don't Give me a kiss. Don't tell me lies. A toasted kiss. Mm -hmm. You gonna do your hair while I talk? I've got lots of dandruff. It's disgusting. <laughs> Don't say that. It's true. It's your self-made snow. <laughs> that's so disgusting. It's Christmas every day. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even with me? <laughs> because we laugh every day. It's true. The last video was the moving in and the house was empty. We've got our stuff I've put here. up videos since then, but yeah, you guys kind of have- Well, the last we one that I was in, I suppose. Yeah, like we haven't really vlogged at all since we moved in here. It's been a lot, like trying to find where everything needs to go. We have a bit of a system now. Hey. Oh no! Sorry. <laughs> we have just talking to I'm, I'm using it as a mirror. <laughs> I can't have a mirror um, and a camera. 
everything more or less has its place now. Um, so we're kind of past the settled in stage and now we're looking at stage two, which is, you know, where do we want the house to be in the next year? Yeah, so. yeah, we're trying to take it in like year year long chunks because realistically it's gone. I don't think it'll ever be finished, but yeah, that's what I've heard from like a few families. Hey, okay. is, <laughs> is that like you're never done? Like I was speaking to one of my uncles who's been in this house like twenty years, and he was like, "There's still you walk around and you see something, and you're like, mm. I need to fix." Our that friend up. Brian said that like once you do all the rooms you circle back to the first room you did and you want to redo it <laughs> yeah yeah uh, like we were that is a perfect example because we've been gardening for the past week and when we got oh to, tell them what we've done uh, tell them what we've done right well the flower beds in the front garden were like they were quite overgrown the old owners were very good gardeners and all of the bushes were like spheres and cubes and Everything it was like Edward Scissorhands it was, it was did gorgeous, the garden. Like, but um, the flower beds have become not just while we were here. I think I think certain jobs just went a bit astray over the years. But a, a lot of them were overgrown with like grass and weeds. So the, the the hedges and bushes were really really nice, but the actual ground itself was very not great. So we spent but the past. The week I had off after the wedding, our honeymoon has essentially been a garden. We've honeymoon. literally just been yeah <laughs> weeding, and um, yesterday we like did half of the wood chip in the garden. Like it just looks yeah. so much better now. It looks way better now, just to have the the ground area clear. There's no more weeds. There's no more grass. It's all pulled up, and then we can put down some some wood chip and stuff like that. And I had no idea how difficult like weeding was, yeah. um, and I know it's like the hardest gardening task or whatever but like we'll never have to do it that bad again like it's never going to get that bad oh no again. it's not going to get that bad no that like, was like it's like maintenance insane. after the stuff that we're doing right now also my dad well he got us a pressure washer a very fancy pressure washer as a wedding gift but we think it was more a gift a for himself. Gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been itching to pressure wash the patio, and this was what the patio was like. It was just, it was so dirty. I don't think it had ever been probably pressure washed, and it had lichen all over it that looked like bird shit, and um, the, all the paths and all out the back were slimy and really dirty. Anyway, he got a Karcher K7, um, so cool, so fancy, and I'd done like a few tiles, and he's like. Come here, give us that, give us that, I'll, I'll show you how it's done. And um, and then he just like became obsessed with it because the next day I was like, I'm going to go and get wellies so I can, because you get destroyed real dirty. I was like, yeah. I want to do the, the patio today. Um, and it'd be like a nice break from being in like mammy duties all the time and stuff, you know. But then my dad went and got wellies as well and he got like a full... A worker's rain suit. So yeah. it's like this luminous rain suit that goes from here to He was like, I'm body. doing it. <laughs> he had, he was in his element though. Like yeah. he loved it and he did such a good job. And the patio now looks like a completely different... Like I am dying, amazing. dying to paint the wall and to put out a fire pit or like some garden furniture yeah. first probably because it'll be a while before we can afford a fire pit because look i have a list of everything we have done i feel i look around and i'm like we've done fuck all in three months but like we've done a lot of things we had a leak in our hall and it's been fixed we half the plumbing has been done like the big plumbing job to increase our water pressure like all these carpets were all pulled back and there was like loads of stuff done that plumbing actually led to two more leaks so you can see here the entire wall in our living room is destroyed we cannot use these light switches now until an electrician comes to have a look at them because you know it's so dangerous but yeah look the crown molding is like falling off yeah you just have to expect this kind of shit with an old house what it does mean is that the renovation of the living room is going to be sped up a lot as in we'll be painting and adding new floors sooner than we expected to we had our car charger for our electric car put onto the front of the house we added blinds in the bedroom the blackout blinds in all of the bedrooms have this kind of pattern and yeah they're just fab for naps and bedtime to put these into four of the bedrooms was like 800 euro so it's a big expense but i just feel like for us it's absolutely a necessity just all these things are like real big expenses out of nowhere like 
yeah. that you don't think they're going to be as expensive as they are. The blinds were like, and I know a lot of people were kind of be like, why did you need new blinds? But we needed blackout blinds because the front of this house it's is it's south, south facing. facing yeah. So it gets sun all day. So with the Baba's naps, and then me and my job as well, like when I get home from work, I'm usually fucked. It's <laughs> always jet lagged and I think, yeah, having the blackout blinds definitely helps. Our internet sorted, our TV sorted. We bought all like appliances, you know, we had to buy, just even those of house bits, like you just go one day to make something and you're like, oh, I don't have a jug. I don't have a, a yeah. you know, a spatula. Like there's so like, many you things. Were, you bought some spuds in, uh, in Tesco's. So you were like, I'm gonna make mashed potatoes for dinner. And then we got home and you're like, no masher. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it, was, it was happening for ages, but they're all bought all of our, you know, like toaster, kettle, microwave, washing machine, dryer, like all that stuff's there. We also bought this gorgeous antique table, which we keep feckin' rune in the top, but we're gonna have to sand it and so stain it. we? Where's we? <laughs> I didn't do the hot cup stain. Well, I don't remember doing that either. <laughs> Well, that's probably my dad, so it's still a week. We got stupid lucky with this table. It was an amazing Facebook marketplace find. I don't think the guy selling it had any idea what he was doing because this table and six of the chairs that came with it are legit antiques. And yeah, you know, it's one of these ones where you can turn it to make the table much smaller or there are like two inserts to make it this long, but he charged us 700 for the table and all of the chairs. Unbelievable. It, it was marked um, though, so even though we apparently <laughs> have made it worse. We kind of, it just needs a light standing yeah. with some sandpaper and to be restained. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we ordered wooden floors. It's a gorgeous herringbone floor from the Hardwood Floor Company for my office. So that's all getting done up. There's paint samples and wallpaper samples on the way. And then we're looking at like desk options and like pull out couches, stuff from there. Yeah. Um, it, it seems like the office will be the next big That'll be the big yeah. renovation job that'll be happening now. The utility though. The utility is the main one. The utility is being pulled apart. This here is the utility that we'll be essentially ripping apart. It is such a decent sized room. Like look at it for comparison. Like the conservatory is quite big. Um, it's, you know, it's almost like another kitchen and it's just sitting there going to waste because we just, I just never go in there unless I'm putting on a wash because mold is gross. So completely gross. That's the only room in the house that has a mold problem and it's bad. It's like, it's a really shoddily built add-on to the house. Currently, it's what we call the room of shit. Even the door to it is so old and crap and broken. I just want to rip the whole thing out. It's such a big job that right now we're just not able to do it because myself and my dad need to be off at the same time. Remove the roof and mm. put a new roof on, and the weather needs to be good for a few days. For it was us supposed to, do that, to happen so. a few weeks ago, but then it was just pissing rain constantly. Yeah, you um, need a you need a few days of guaranteed good weather to do what we're planning to do, which is essentially create a new utility room. Like yeah. the block walls are all that's going to be left once we're finished. It's an issue that will be fixed in time. In time. And for now, we just keep the door closed and the window open. Yeah, we just pretend that do that doesn't exist. And it's such a big room. It'll be so gorgeous when it's all done. It'll be feckin' fantastic now when it's, it's finished. I'm really excited to get stuck in there and tear the arse out of it because I think it, it's a lovely, lovely space and it's really bright. So one thing I started just yesterday is painting the conservatory because it has not been painted in so long. They treated it from mold. So there's no like live mold, but there's like stains from where there was mold before they treated it. And we have to like paint over all of the walls in there and the curtains as well. And then, um, yeah, I was doing that like it, at night time when my son was asleep. So we can't paint around him and stuff. It's very difficult to do housey things with a baby or a toddler around. So I have to do that like, with, cause there's no light in there. It's like a conservatory. So at night time, it's just glasses on the ceiling. So, you know, it's completely dark. So yeah, I had a little lamp. I was there painting. Was like, <laughs> um, but it, it was so exciting to start painting a room finally because yeah. none of the rooms here are painted well that room out there we, we kind of agreed like the only thing it needs is a lick of paint yeah and for now it's for the fine windows to have a feckin like your dad be able to do that with his new favorite pressure washer yeah. and and that's it. i, like, I it's, love it's the tiles area. the tiles and I, it does need a bit of furniture but you know there's no mad rush on that but i, I do want to be sitting in there now that's getting warmer we also had the architect come he gave us an invoice for how much it's going to cost for um even just to put in the planning application for my dad's extension so for those of you who don't know my dad's living with us 
temporarily and he is building on like a grandpa wing and um, where he's gonna live essentially so it's gonna be like a, a about 60 square meter like little house attached on to our house and um he'll still be in here lots of course but it's just so he has his private space and we have our own family space so my dad's extension is going to be this shed this garage all with like a new roof and stuff so it'll be level with the house so it'll be coming out to be in line with our house so it's like this kind of long it'll be fairly decent in size I think when it's done. The planning is going to cost quite a lot because we need to pay for retention planning on a lot of add-ons that were done to this original house. So the original house didn't have the conservatory, the utility, the ensuite bathrooms or the shed. So there's four things that they never got planning permission for but they're all like over 20 years old so we're hoping it'll be fine the that way the is. law works in ireland is you can add on up to 40 square meters to your home without needing planning permission and the house is basically at that limit now so the fact that we want to do more stuff we basically have to bring everything in line mm. so we can add on more stuff um so it it is what it is but uh it'll be it'll be great once we get the the plan in because yeah. once again i'm dying to throw the work boots on and tear into that shed other than that we've like renamed the house and we ordered new house signs and we yeah the, the renaming of a house in ireland i thought you had to like there's get no onto, specific on post... process yeah i went to the post office and i was just like look who do i actually contact about renaming the house and he was like uh, well, where do you live and what's your name and what's the house called now? And he was just writing on a scrap of paper and he was like, what's your phone number? And he was like, great, I'll give that to the postman and like, it'll get to you, you'll be grand. And I was like, oh, okay, fine. So he's know, basically I'll... like, just tell people who are posting stuff to you to use the new name and hang a sign and your postman knows. So that's it. There's no official... This is the name of the house, apparently. When I talked about that on Instagram, one of my followers from a different country was like, you name your houses over there. <laughs> and like, not everyone does, but yes, a lot of people do give their house a name, but this house, like, yeah. it doesn't have a number, it just has a name. But the current name is like, just, we're not fans. So we're, we're changing it to something that's meaningful for us, you know? We have looked at um, wooden stove to get put in, and then when the wooden stove is being put in, we're gonna have 10 minutes to decide whether we want to get rid of the lovely big mahogany uh, fireplace or if we want to yeah put it leave it as the original stone there's a gas fire in there right now so to get the gas fire out they're gonna to have to pull out the actual fireplace itself remove all the gas lines box that off clear out the flue for the chimney and at that point we'll be able to see the stone and see the shape behind it and and then we'll be able to say okay leave the fire out and we'll stick with the stone or we say nothing and what they'll do is they'll just stick the fireplace back, back in and install yeah. the install the stove so i'm still very much in the mindset that i want to keep the fireplace as it is but apparently it has to be torn out now no matter what so at least we'll get to see it but yeah before we moved in here i was like to thomas like the one thing that we have to do first is like that living room and I just, I, well I wanted to replace all the carpets and paint the whole house before we moved in. Which would have been stupid because we're working with my brother's to be wife on like pulling together everything for each room and um, you know just like paints, furniture, she's studying interior design, she's really good at all that kind of stuff and um, so I'm kind of glad we didn't just go in and kind of spend a load of money and time doing something that we might undo mm. do you know what i mean i'm always constantly thinking about like how gorgeous it's gonna all look when it's all done but um you know right now it's just basically as it was when we moved in other than we have like our big green corner couch in there from where i used to live the little coffee table that we're not going to keep and actually thomas a radiogram and it is the best thing in the world so old it's from the 60s is it your dad said it could have been built somewhere between 1958 and like the early 60s yeah, so. and the sound quality is so good so like when yeah. he just plays like a radio station on that and it's like classical music like traditional irish music it just makes the house feel so homey oh, oh a wasp a wasp oh, oh. Thomas. <laughs> Be gone. Be free. <laughs> Can be my hero, baby. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> 
today we are going to an antique shop. I can't wait. I just love looking at old things. We um, need to get a chest of drawers chest for of our drawers. bedroom. I feel like our bedroom has actually become one of the most neglected rooms because <laughs> yeah. we know no one's going to be in there. Seeing as the Baba is still asleep, it seems like he's having one of those amazing two hour naps today. I want to talk about this book. You must buy this, read it. This is a PDF of a proof copy. I'm not supposed to show you this, but um, I'm on, I'm having to like write down the pages just to remember where to come back to in this PDF. It's so funny, but that's how much I'm enjoying this. And I'm showing you this page because see that word zeitgeisty. I want to use that word to describe this book. It's zeitgeisty. It's, it's so relevant. There's a whole story about like a YouTube family crumbling and I want to like squeeze their son and rescue him. It's about three different women in their thirties, crisis after crisis. It's just so good. So hilarious and there's a real theme of like motherhood and oh I just just read it let me know what you think it's out in April so it actually turns out the plumber's coming today <laughs> One of Thomas's own yeah. plumber friends fitting us in and he is going to plumb the office so just like to do with the radiator really and uh, the floors, hardwood floor for in here is going to be ready next week. A lot sooner than I expected so I just can't wait to like rip this off and paint all this. What's daddy doing? Making a mess. Making a big mess. I'm just so stupidly excited about this. It's not even funny. My own office. A home office. I've always, always wanted a home office. I've been working from home for like eight years. Mostly out of my bed or off the couch. So it's just going to be so cool. Even just seeing those floorboards, which, you know, obviously we can't just like do up these floors. The same in the living room. Like the whole living area has these, but I suppose you could just sand them and stain them but there'd be so much less insulation like we're gonna have to have like a layer of insulation and then the hardwood technically it's engineered wood that we're getting be careful mr wellies be very very careful give me that you'll get a splinter let go Ta -ta. let go good boy get rid of this so i'm on my bum painting because uh Plans have changed again. Um, <laughs> I'm the most unprofessional painter ever. But I'm essentially just getting a little bit at a time. I'm going over and back until it's like, there's no more lines appearing. But uh, yeah, then we're gonna have to do the skirtings as well. The skirtings in here are disgusting. Yeah, because the plumber kind of showed up around and about when our childcare, AKA the child's grandmother, <laughs> Um, arrived, she kind of arrived around about when the plumber did and um, we were gonna head off into town to an antiques shop um, but obviously we have to be here while, while he's working so I don't know if or when, like, if, like what time really we're gonna get to go. I've not been apart from my son for longer than like five hours I think was the longest but I'm trying to go longer stretches just to like get him used to being in other people's company and like he's fine like he never like starts whinging for me around like that because he's so used to his grandparents he loves them to bits and we're very very lucky that grandparents want to do bits of childminding and stuff and um, so we've not had to hire um a childminder like anytime we need to go on a date i need to want to anytime we want to have a bit of a long time or anything like that like yeah we have um three grandparents on hand who are all wonderful and they all adore our little boy. Finish with so much. Am I doing a good job? Oh, go on. Yeah, you're doing a great job. <laughs> it's called Shy Smile. Yeah, the paint is called Shy Smile that we chose. It's like, I think it's by Fleetwood. Last night we extended out our dining table, right? What was it you said? You wanted to have, fill the table with children. Yeah, there's six seats. So that means there's three more kids on the way. That's, that's the way I that's see it. That's not what's happening. If I have twins, maybe we could go a third time. If I, I'm not pregnant. I'm just. Yeah. Um, that's a good deal. We could say we're going. We're going to try for two more pregnancies. That's yeah. Okay. Let's pinky on it. No, let's shake on. It. Why am I pinky? I don't know. Um. Just the deal. <laughs> my princess. <laughs> my, my pinky pesa. Um, we're both quite broody right now. Like, I went from feeling like really not ready at all a f 
few weeks ago to just being like, oh, I can't wait to have another one. <laughs> um, and Thomas just keeps like talking about when we have a little girl and stuff, but keep reminding him it might be a two little boys situation. Yeah, yeah we're kind of thinking we're just gonna go for it now and see what happens. Yeah, we're gonna do what we did last time, which is essentially just stop being careful. Stop being careful and see when and if some little person appears. <laughs> it's easier for him to think about it that way, but like honestly, I think you know it's gonna be a case of going forward from here on in. Um, I'm gonna get upset every time I get my period if I do get it because I'll know that that's, that means that I'm not pregnant. And I've not had to go through that before, like, because the last time it just happened so quick and we were so mm. lucky. What about having two kids most terrifies you and most excites you? Uh, terrifies is the fact that I have to leave for work, which was not the case at the first pregnancy. Yes. So, um, you got very lucky with all that COVID stuff, to be honest. It was a very big silver lining. Yeah, like... I feel like going out, the, I'm going to find it very, very, very difficult to go on out the door and disappear for like a couple of days at a time going to work. Mm. Um, especially if it's like a time when one or both of the kids is being particularly difficult. Before we had the first pregnancy, we were like, oh, when should we have a kid? When should we have a kid? And we realized like there's never a perfect time to have a child. There's and I think it's the exact same with a second there child. Is a there is a bad be. time, but there's never a perfect time. Yeah, there's never a good time. There's, yeah, there's certain times that might be better than others, but realistically, it's always going to be hard having two kids. With but also fun. What's your excited? What were you excited about? And like, why do you so badly want another kid like now? Uh, I just think it's going to be great crack. We had loads of fun with it, with the first one, and we still are, so yeah. I think it's just going to be brilliant. Because it is really hard, but like when I think back to it, I, I remember being exhausted and I remember loads of stuff being hard, but I remember we laughed our whole way through it, so. Yeah. I think all of my best life memories are since he was born, like most of them. Um, the other ones do involve you in Spain yeah. when we were over there, but literally every... <laughs> yeah, there was one day we actually vlogged it, I think. Uh, there was one day in Spain where we literally spent the whole day in bed. Oh. Like we were just like we were clothed, but uh, Sorry, we dark. Sorry, just like. napped where and you lay and listened to music and stuff. And we only left the bed just to go to the canteen for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we just stayed in bed all day doing absolutely nothing. And sometimes we like to reminisce about that day. Get off of me! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is an apt summary of today. <laughs> and to remember those people and how well rested they were. Oh, they were so fresh. <laughs> and how little responsibility on that particular day they had that they could literally say I'm going to do literally nothing, nothing. apart from eat and lie down all day. I just can't believe I ever was able that, to do that. And it'll never happen again. The whole newborn stage is so magical though like um, what's really sad it's just so quick like yeah it does fly you well. know you have a baby for a year and say if you only have one baby in your life and you live for 80, 90 years, that's one year that you actually have a baby. Dad is home from work and we are both holding handies. The novel I have coming out, I've gotten amazing quotes from some writers that I love. Louise O'Neill, the queen. 
Sophie White. I'm just so excited. Um, also, I haven't said it on a YouTube video yet. If you're in Ireland and you would like to spend an afternoon with me, book shopping, having lunch, you can bring a friend along, please pre-order my book from Eason. Pre-orders do so much for authors, you have no idea, like no idea, it's just so, so helpful. The winner of that competition will be announced on publication day. And of course, if you're in a different country, you can pre-order as well, it still really, really helps out. If you've ever just wanted to like buy me lunch <laughs> for any reason whatsoever, do this for me and I'll just love you forever and I'll want to give you so many virtual cuddles. <laughs> I like this little frog in the boot. Oh yeah. It's cute. What about this no man with a shovel? I prefer the frog. All oh, these lovely bits here. Very nice. Chickens. An owl. Oh, I like the owl. Nail owl. I like the little fairy. Oh, they're gorgeous, those um, water fountains. Yeah. We've agreed on Mr. Owl. He's just really, really cute. Um, oh, there's so many lovely things here though. We're also going to get this little toadstool and this adorable little gnome man. Oh wow. Oh, I'm so excited about having a garden. You can't already tell. He's having the time of his life in here. We we found I what Thomas wanted. Gnome. Big proper gnome gnome. Proper gnome. Yeah, get the biggest one. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, it. look, one in a tractor. We're gonna see how much wood chip we can fit. This is the one we're putting in our garden, mini chip bark, and uh, it's class. It's good for keeping the weeds down. And if the weeds do come up, you know, the greenery of them shows up very easily around the brown of the bark. So you, you basically, you do a one big go, get rid of all the weeds, all the moss, everything, throw this down, and then it's just maintenance, you know. Maintenance. That's how we do maintenance. The vintage hub, so this is closer to us than the places in town. So let's have a little, a little look-see. We've found the literal room of requirement <laughs> and uh, we're looking for a chest of drawers and a desk. Thomas is in love with this. It's like one goth one heaven. There, yeah. He was like, could these go in the conservatory? No. <laughs> me, me think not. So he's got this one in here, which would need to be fixed up, but it's really, really cool. Like I think he said there was like a marble top on it or something. Um, It's just so old. It's so cool. It looks like something from a movie. It's spooky in here. Just see Thomas's feet. <laughs> He's sitting on his goth couch. I know it has the little broken bit, but I'm kind of in love with it. We just got back from that vintage furniture place. I've just kind of put on a cozy hoodie. I'm having some Coke Zero for uh, caffeine, but my dad is having his uh, private time with our son. They watch two cellos together. <laughs> It's so cute. Do you want some Coke Zero for a bit of a buzz? By the way, this is not staying either there or in the house. Probably gonna sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Um, Cause in my office is where we're gonna have like all the books, storing all the books, but I really want built-in bookshelves with like wallpaper behind them. So excited, so, so excited. Um, so yeah, time for a spot of gardening while the sun goes down. There she is. She's on the way. Some fresh wood chip. You doing wood chip? Chips, glorious chips. Why is this so satisfying? Like, why is this so relaxing? So you can see over there, it just looks so much better than like the bits that we've kind of weeded. Um, 
this patch I think there was like a bush or tree or something here that died so we're gonna plant loads of wildflowers here be friendly wildflowers that's what you want to do isn't it yeah. Thomas has this thing about saving bees and I think the most in love with him I ever feel is when I just catch him when he thinks I'm not noticing and he's like trying to save a bee like he was doing it earlier I just saw him wandering around outside with like a spoon of honey. <laughs> I was like, you're trying to save a bee again, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Hands are mank. <laughs> I feel like these are all gonna look so different in summer as well. Like we didn't see a lot of these in summer because we came and bought the house in like, you know, winter. But look at this little baby. Like all the others are so mature and this tiny little baby. So this bit's quite close to the house. So we're gonna put this little guy here so people can see him when they're driving out. So this is the solar and it, it charges it up and then there's like little lights come on apparently. Thomas hates these. I'm just wondering if anyone watching, can they tell me is, does this bush and this bush look, look nice, nice in the summer? In the summer? Because- <laughs> They're ugly as fuck. <laughs> they're ugly as fuck in the winter. And they're look at all the lovely here. ones. Look, there's our gnome this, friend. All of this is the same thing. That's all. all yeah, we have a lot. Guys. So it was obviously planted somewhere and it's just expanded. Well anyway, now we have a lovely little gnome and that's his place. Where's the owl gonna be? Okay, we've decided the owl's gonna go in in the little mini tree. <laughs> this is so thick. I love it. <laughs> we need some fairy doors for the trees. Good job, Mr. Mew. He loves this vibrating one, it's definitely encourages him to actually put it in his mouth and chew on it. We've stepped into the comfy cozies, haven't taken the makeup off just yet. I'm too hungry to think about that right now. We have Odell Paso stand and stuff taco kit with some corn mints, avocados and only a couple of lousy tomatoes left. Um, let's get going making this because I want to sit down and I want to watch an episode of The Crown because that's that's what we do to Thomas and I were just chatting there, just, you know, we, we keep stopping, like, passing each other in the hallway and, and just being like, I love this house. I love this house. And I just feel so lucky to be here, to own this place, to have actually done it, you know, like, set my life up in a way that my 30s are going to involve doing this place up and making it into a home and, oh my God. Cage. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been your cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we, that looks really dirty. <laughs> when we were dating and we lived in Spain, Thomas always used to do this thing where he put me in my cage. So I, you know, I'd, I'd want to be safe in my cage. So yeah, he'd so go like that. Yeah, it's lovely. And he'd tuck your arms in. You just, oh, it's so cozy. <laughs> Because we've eaten through all of our fresh veg, I'm throwing in a bit of this hidden veggies pasta sauce, which I always have there for emergencies with our son. Like if he's having a picky day, he'll always eat this. Do you know it takes ages to get through a show because you have a kid now? Me and Thomas, if we're watching a movie, we'll watch it in three parts. And even just a show, like if it's a long episode, it'll be probably, you know, spread over two nights. <laughs> you're just so tired at the end of the day. Like even though he goes to bed fairly early, you're like I'm exhausted right now. I am planning on going and doing a bit more painting. <laughs> Fuck it. But yeah, it's just, you'd be just snackered. It just all builds up on you and you're just kind of perpetually tired. I'm not complaining, I'm just, it's just a fact. <laughs> if you're pregnant, <laughs> ignore me. It's all, it's all fine. <laughs> <laughs> This is the end of every day. People don't want to see us like this. Yeah, they do. They want to see us looking foot loose and fancy free. Taking the world in our stride. Just wait for the wedding video. What, what are they doing down there? Yeah, what are you doing down there? I have to go and take off my makeup with my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. You have to put on your essential oils. I've got to brush my teeth. And then we have to get into bed and touch feet. Uh, They've already clicked out. They're watching PewDiePie now. Any tips for like energy? I know there's things like I bought wheatgrass and it's in the freezer and I just never take it. Yeah. And things like that. You bought you bought twelve frozen shots of wheatgrass. 
in December 2021. Do you want more exhaustion vlogs? Yeah. Thumbs up if you liked this video. Comment what you want more of. What you want. If you want less of this, we can do that. If you want more garden, we can do that. More Tell garden. Us. Do you want more us in bits <laughs> on the couch? Do you want more garden? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, please. <laughs> I bet you there's no one watching this bit of the video. <laughs> it's just us. So if you're still here, We're comment, here on our comment, own. comment, like, just comment three purple hearts in a row. If you're here, you're seeing this. Night night. Night night. Mm -hmm.